Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. One thing that I really, really enjoy doing is taking things that may look difficult to do, I shouldn't say things, beauty looks that may look difficult to do and translating them to be really super simple and easy to achieve. I've kind of filmed a tutorial that's more in depth than the hairstyle itself. Even then it's still super basic, but this is literally like a couple of steps and you're done. So it really is perfect for that kind of festival vibe. So if you'd like to see how to achieve these mermaidy, unicorny space buns, then please keep on watching. So this is literally my just got out of bed hair. So I just thought I would start with this. Firstly, I'm just going to brush it. So now I can just really see what kind of texture and volume I'm working with. Okay, so for this look, I think the most important thing is for your hair to not be too straight or too slick or too perfect looking. I think you really want to start with like a good amount of volume and texture. I have hair extensions, so I'm pretty lucky that I have pretty thick hair with these in. But if you don't have thick hair, I'll give you a couple of tips on how to just thicken it up a little bit before going into the space bun style. So firstly, dry shampoo is awesome for just adding some texture and some grit to your hair and also helps add a bit of volume. So I'm gonna spray some of this through my roots and my mid lengths. Literally, that's all it takes and you automatically have so much more texture and volume to work with. If you have really naturally straight hair, I would probably advise just putting some wave through it, uh, just with, you know, like a hot curling tong like this. Just because wavy hair really does look more voluminous and it really does just give you more texture to work with. So I would highly um, recommend doing that. So I'm just going to put a couple of um, extra waves through some pieces of my hair that have kind of dropped a little bit. This is just a Curious Grace curling iron. I've been using it for ages and I really like it. And these waves don't have to be done perfectly. It's all about just creating volume and texture at this point. I would advise just thinking about whether you wanna have some pieces hanging out or not. So I probably will, so these kinds of areas, I might just tong a bit more properly, um, you know, because I know that they're gonna be hanging out and on display, but the rest of it can really just be quite messily done. For this section, I like to leave the ends out just so it's more of a wave rather than a curl. So as you can see, it's looking really messy and imperfect and I'm now going to hairspray it. This is L'Oreal Elnet, one of my all time favorite hairsprays. And I'm just gonna like pick sections up and spray because I also find that that in itself creates more volume. Now my hair is super full of texture, so I'm going to brush it again. I'm now going to add some color and I'm just going to use the L'Oreal Colorista sprays for this. These are awesome, they are just spray in and wash out hair colors. So they're perfect for festivals, like if you have to go back to work on the Monday or something like that. Um, these are perfect because the color simply just washes out. I really wanna do like a pastel look today. So I think I might attempt to use all four of these shades. So I've got pastel blue hair here pink hair which is like a soft pastel pink kind of like my background lavender hair and mint hair so I think I'm just going to spray these through my ends to create a kind of unicorny mermaidy kind of look and then we'll go into the bun from there I'm just going to pop a towel around me the placement isn't too important here because at the end of the day they are going to go up but I mean, even if you wanted to leave your hair out, you could literally just kind of glide these colors through one by one and it'll end up looking really pretty. So I'll show you that before I put it into space buns. I'm just gonna shake it up. And then I'm just gonna pull out pieces to spray. I'm just gonna brush it through as I go. 
Now for lavender hair. I think this fits the whole mermaid unicorn brief pretty well. So I'm just gonna give my hair a bit of a brush. As you can see, you could definitely just leave your hair like this and it's still very festivaly, very mermaidy, very unicorny. But uh, I wanna go with the space bun thing just because I haven't really done anything like that before. So I'm gonna continue doing that. But as you can see, it's really easy to just spray and go. If I was doing someone else's hair for this, then I would probably do a middle part, but honestly, my hair just doesn't like being in a middle part and it just really doesn't stay that way. So mine's just kind of like off center and I think that works well for this look too. I'm just going to separate my hair at the back as best I can. Pull out my pieces that I want to keep out. I think it looks kind of pretty having pieces out. And then, I don't want this part to be like too perfect. And just literally twist. You can leave like a little bit of hair out at the back. Whoops. Like when you pin it, I think that's really cute. Did you know that the jagged part of a bobby pin is actually the piece that goes to your head, not the long piece? Just gonna put a couple of pins in. I think that'll hold, other side. And just twist it. <laughs> this side of my hair is much thicker than this side, even with extensions. This side needs like French pins because it's so much thicker. Because my cheeky hair extensions are trying to pop through, I'm just gonna use the tail of a tail comb <laughs> and slide that in there to just hide them. Now that I can see which pieces I've left out, I'm just gonna spray a little bit more color in them. And I'm just gonna hairspray it all to lock it in place. That helps lock in the color and the style. Because you don't know what the placement of your hair is going to be when it goes up, you can always add a little bit of color afterwards if you feel like enough isn't showing. And that's it, my super simple mermaidy, unicorny, space bun festival hairstyle. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this little quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video. Bye.